Greetings and welcome to 360 Fly 4K Anatomy 101. I uh, just got in a 4K 360 Fly camera that had been damaged and you'll be able to see the damage shortly. Like right there. Lens, lens damage. Other than that lens damage it is a fully functional camera but figured better to know how to get it apart and what's on the inside, what to expect um, before you actually have to do something like that so we're going to proceed from there now on the bottom side of this you'll see the same two screw holes the difference with the 4k camera is that they use a T4 spline screw set they're not using the Phillips screws anymore so you can need to get one of those tools uh, pick mine up at uh, Lowe's uh, they have their cobalt uh, stocking stuffers out and you can get a set for six bucks anyway with those two screws out the top piece pops off and the other new thing is that this is your 4k assembly this is your HD assembly totally different from that perspective so you've got five screws holding you can see right there where the screws would be if I had them in there. Take that top piece off. There is your top layer which consists of one board as compared to the two boards on the HD. This does have a ribbon cable connector just as the 360 Fly HD has and it's the same process. Give it a little bit of pressure underneath ribbon cable will disconnect. Once you've done that you've got four screws that would hold this in place. Again everything is T4 spline type screws not the Phillips head. That board comes up very nicely. You see your battery here. With that your second layer assembly has five screws that hold it in place. I've got all the screws out of here. This cable here, just straighten it up and bring that up gently. Now your battery cable will be connected to this connector here, same way as the HD. It's a snap-in connection. It is not a slide-in, so you would lift it from one side underneath the connector to snap it out and putting it back in would be a reverse process obviously without the screwdriver. Once that is done you have your camera's cable, ribbon cable coming up. You remove that the same way. A little bit of pressure underneath to lift it up out of place. With that this board assembly drops out very neatly and with that I can show you it's a double sided board so all your parts are layered in there now your micro SD card should you go looking for it is here you have to remove these three screws lift this assembly to get to the micro SD card with that, you can get that in and out. Now there are two things here. Uh, your reset button, which used to be on the on the HD, was through the center hole at the base. That's no longer the case. That reset button is now here on the side of the assembly, which is on the top assembly section of the camera. So you would need a very small screwdriver to get to that reset button. Very small. <laughs> Even my little tiny screwdriver can't get in there. But that's your reset button. Now to remove the lens and something I found on the HD as well. And I'll show you the HD here. The screws 
that hold the, the lens in are these five screws here. They have a thing about fives. Anyway, you remove those five screws, as long as they're not rusted up and you can get them out. And then to remove the lens, both hands, give it a push. And it will come out, no problem. Now what's different here with the 4K is that these four screws are holding in a plastic retainer assembly. So we'll remove those four screws, remove the retainer assembly, and again, both hands with your thumbs, give it a push. There is some protective material around the rim of the housing that's pretty much a sealant which holds the lens assembly in place. Basically you're breaking that tension between the lens assembly and the housing to get that lens out of there. Uh, reassembly. I hit reverse the process. Uh, play this back in reverse. Uh, either way uh, you should have no problem. Now one of the things I noticed different too with the 4K and you can see the the red running around here and then it goes gray. That is an O-ring that is set in place on the assembly and that takes care of this part of it. Now there is no O-ring here but there is a it's a part of the plastic form which actually is supposed to uh, act as somewhat of a seal on the next layer of your camera assembly to help protect it. And with that, as they say, uh, 4K 101, that's a wrap.